no matter who's at home and who's away, this is a game that commands your attention. Two proud English clubs about to go at it. Manchester City versus Chelsea, and the action comes your way live next on EA TV. And a warm welcome. Our venue today is the Etihad Stadium here in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Manchester City taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game though. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Riyad Mahrez plays with Jack Grealish in the wide positions and providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And leading the line today is Joao Felix. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Diesch. Ake has it. Holland. Holland. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, here it is. 1v1 against the keeper. And the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Sterling on the ball Ruben Dias Ake Rodri De Bruyne now Stones. Mares. The ball with Rodri. Diesch. Just cutting off the supply. Havertz. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, the referee won't be quite as lenient next time. Got to tread more carefully.
And a decent delivery. Can they hit on the break? But timely defending when it mattered. Felix. Nathan Ake here. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Jack Grealish. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. And borderline offside, but correct. And Kai Havertz. Oh, he's given it away. Mares. Now, what can they do from here? A oh, fine reading of the situation. Manuel Akanji. Jack Grealish. Gundogan, can he take the chance? And the goal here, courtesy of De Bruyne. It really is a true force of nature. Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Sterling. Here's Chilwell. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, yes! You cannot strike them any better than that! Brilliant goal! Well, here it is again, and just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Gundogan. Fine sequence of passes. Stones. The ball with Rodri. Really good challenge. I must say, this looks promising. And he takes it away. Sterling. Not problematic for the keeper. Erling Haaland. Half time, that will do it for the first half here at the Etihad. And now they get the ball rolling. Haaland. the opening goal the ideal way to start Gundogan in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here You cannot strike!
second half underway with City looking to build upon a positive first half performance Havertz Sterling this could be the equaliser and a bit short with the clearance well that's the end of that for now De Bruyne it's very attractive attacking football and Mares comes into things now opportunity missed well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. Here it is now, a substitution. Sterling and Kai Havertz the ball with Rodri and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose and he's clear his lines Grealish And now Rodri. De Bruyne. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Kukureya. On the ball, Joao Felix. Oh, maybe the equaliser. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Riyad Mahrez. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. A change in the offing for City. Mares losing possession. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. Mares. Oh, it might be. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Conte just 15 minutes remaining Havertz 
And that is the sort of tackle he had scripted in his mind. Well, you can hear these City fans driving their team forward. Are we going to have a dramatic finish here? Level pegging, but can they change that? Bernardo Silva has a go. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And Golo Conte. And so into the final five minutes. Oh, fancy footwork. Havertz! A smart stop here. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Trying to deliver it accurately. An interceptor there. Havertz! Oh, late drama here! All level again! Incredible scenes! Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep doing that, you're going to get punished. It's just not good enough. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Terrific piece of anticipation. Koulibaly. Now with Havertz. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end, an even contest.